A man's got to know his limitations, especially when it comes to his IRA. His individual retirement arrangements, as the IRS calls them, the rest of us just call them individual retirement accounts or IRAs. We're breaking down the breaking news. What are the IRA contribution limits for 2024? And if you stick around to the end, I'll tell you what movie that Clint classic quote comes from. Breaking news from the IRS, at least it was breaking in early November 2023. The contribution limits for IRAs in 2024 increased to $7,000. That's up $500 from last year's max of $6,500. The old catch-up contribution limit for 2024 remains the same at $1,000. That means you could potentially sock away $8,000 in your IRA. Married? Your spouse could potentially do the same. You qualify for the catch-up if you're 50 years old or older, and you can turn 50 any time during the tax year. For example, you're a Christmas baby, hanging on to 49 as long as you can. You hit 50 at year's end, well, you're good for catch-up for that tax year. Relish that. Those maximums are good for Roth IRAs as well as IRAs, also known as traditional IRAs but you don't get to double down. You can't put seven grand in a traditional IRA and seven grand in a Roth. You can mix and match, but you can't exceed the max between the two. These IRA limits are separate from any workplace retirement account you have. For example, contributing to an IRA does not preclude you from contributing to your 401k and possibly maxing it out. We'll look at those limits another time. Oh yeah, that Clint classic quote, that comes from the 1973 movie Magnum Force. Clint Eastwood played San Francisco Police Inspector Harry Callahan, otherwise known as Dirty Harry.